Hey folks and welcome to my channel, I'm Eddie and in this video I'll show you how to set up Google Pixel 6a. So let's turn it on first, just press on the button and hold. You'll feel the vibration and you'll see this screen so then you can release the button. Now we will have to wait a little bit here. And once you get to this screen you can here choose the language. Assistive options, if you tap here, you have here vision settings and set up with your voice. These things you can do later, so it's really not, there's no need to do it now. The most important thing here is the language and here is set to English, so that's precisely what I want. If you want to change the language, tap here and choose another language. Now all we need to do is to tap here on this button, get started. Alright, so the next step tells us to insert the SIM card. We can do this later, so I'm going to actually skip this by tapping here on this skip button. On the next screen the phone will ask you to connect to your internet connection. Now I advise you to do this right away, but it's not a problem. You, If you don't have a connection you can just set up offline and then connect later, but I'm going to do it right away. So I've entered my password, then tap on connect. And now you wait a little bit for the phone to connect. And again, we can see the next screen. It says getting your phone ready. So here you again, you'll have to wait a little bit. All right, so the next option is to copy your apps and data from another phone. So if you have another phone and you want to transfer all of your data and apps to this phone, you can just tap on next and go through those steps and do that. In this case, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to just tap here on don't copy. Now on this screen your phone is going to ask you to log in into your Google account. This is something that uh, you can skip, you can log in if you like, you can create an account, you can skip. Um, it's up to you really. I'm going to actually log in into my Google account here. Here just read this text and tap on I agree. Alright, now on the next screen you can actually read about all of this and you can allow location. I advise you that you do this is for Google Maps and other things. So um, just leave everything as it is. But if you don't want Google using some of your data, you can read, um, read all about it here and then just disable the things that you like to disable, right? So once you're done with that, tap on accept here. Now, if you logged with your Google account, you'll get to this page next. If not, it's probably not going to be visible. That's fine uh, because I'm logged in. Uh, it asked me, do I want to back up um, my phone data? And of course, I want that. So I'm going to tap on turn on. All right. The next step is to enter your PIN. Now, obviously, most people are going to use the fingerprint uh, to unlock the phone. Still, if you get in trouble with the fingerprint and for some reason it doesn't work, you'll have to remember your PIN. So please enter something that you will remember. That's very important. And once you're done with that, the next step is to set up your fingerprint unlock. This is something that obviously if you want to use the phone, I advise you to do it right away. So I'm going to do it right away. So now just scroll down. You have an option to no thanks and I agree. I'm going to tap on I agree. And let's do this together. I'm go All you need to do is just to tap here on this button and just touch it with different parts of your finger. So try to touch it with this part, with the sides, the middle, right? As you can see, I'm trying to do it with different parts. It's very important to register the finger properly. All right, this is done. So once it's done, tap on next. Okay, so on this screen we have an option to continue with setup or we can skip all of this and do it later. Uh, you can see here what I mean by setup is to set up your Google Assistant and all of these things. Some of these things you're probably not going to even uh, use. So I'm going to tap on leave and get reminder. On the next step, we're going to choose which apps should the phone install by default. I'm just going to uncheck a few apps that I don't really want. 
once you uncheck those apps you don't want, tap on OK. Now keep in mind that you can actually delete those apps later so you don't have to uncheck it. Now if you're not sure what the app does, just leave it checked, let the phone install it and then later you can delete it. Now let's tap on OK. And this is I think the last thing we need to do here. We can skip or we can try it out. This is just um, a small demonstration of the phone gestures. I advise you to actually tap on try it out just to see how it works. And here it says swipe to go home. So you have this green line and you do this. And this is how you go to home. So it's just going to teach you those gestures. Here again it shows you that to go back to the last screen you can swipe from the left to the right. So let's do that. And that's done nicely. And the last thing we need to do is to swipe and hold like this to go to other apps to see the other apps we're using. So this is pretty much same on most of the phones. It's actually slightly different here because you can swipe from the left and to the right. But the first and last gesture is pretty much the same. So once you're done, tap on done. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now the next thing is swipe to go home. So let's do that. And here you are. Now, once you come home, I advise you to actually leave your phone like this. You can see here that it's downloading those apps now. So you can swipe down and see there is something that's being downloaded. Um, it's not only the apps, it's updates and stuff. So just leave your phone like this until it's done. So I'm going to wait for this to finish and then I'll show you how to insert your SIM card. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.